Good morning. Welcome again to Electric Drive Africa. I'm Joey K. And today we're going on a road trip and what we would like to call one of the forefathers of uh, electrified cars that actually use a battery for some level of traction. Now this is the famous Toyota Prius. This is a 2010 version and the Toyota Prius, they've sold millions of them. So we like just like to give some tribute to the Prius because even though this one doesn't have a plug, you can't actually plug to charge it, but it has a 1.3 kilowatt hour battery that actually used for traction as well. So it's a full hybrid. So this car can drive in three modes, in battery mode, uh, in uh, obviously uh, internal combustion engine mode, and also in like so in the hybrid where the two are working in synergy. All electric mode uh, with a 1.3 kilowatt battery, I would assume maybe you could, if, depending on how you drive, before the gasoline engine kicks in, you could drive for about five kilometers or so in all electric, electric mode. It depends on how you drive. So today we're going on a road trip, we're going to Naivasha. Naivasha is about 100 kilometers from Nairobi. So yeah, thank you for joining us and uh, don't forget to subscribe and let's go. Uh, yeah, this is a Toyota Prius Hybrid and uh, my name is Paul. Uh, I really love this car. Uh, actually, I'm talking about the functions. Uh, we have this, uh, this is power mode. Power mode is when you need more power on this car and uh, you're using uh, only for it. Uh, there's echo mode you, when you need to stabilize your fuel and you don't want to spend a lot on it you can use a uh, common uh, we have ev uh, is when you just use electric only and you can move uh, for some kilometers it will help you when you are out of fuel uh, we can try this one okay and also we have this this is parking parking when you you already arrived uh, where you are supposed to be you can just put less on parking uh, this is a uh, gear yeah, you have it's very interesting you can uh, press it on drive uh, you can press on reverse you got a uh, neutral then you're parking and that's how I can describe uh, let's see how we electric mode wa works for us uh, let's go it's not showing the power flow though how do you show the power flow the, oh, the power for uh, is this display here we got it yeah now you see it's using battery to move around and you can enjoy the car it's all silent it's only using the battery right now you see the power flow yeah. the energy flow is from from the battery to the motor and then to the front row so it's a front row a drive mode i think from this uh, illustration yeah yeah okay cool thank you
it's a very smooth ride and if you look at it this car is from 2010 and we are in 2019 right now nine years old and the battery is still working fine it shows you don't have to change your battery often so most people are worried about battery cars then because their batteries they can relate to are their laptop or their cell phones and with cell phones you change your battery every year and a half or so so people think will this battery really last that long but in this case uh, these batteries are well engineered and also uh, in most electric cars they have um, a very good thermal management that the batteries last long most cars come with the uh, eight year warranty minimum on the battery like your bmw i8 your jaguar i bases now this one doesn't have a plug it is uh, one of the, the early versions of the Prius. This is the third generation, I think, with a 1.3 kilowatt hour battery. But the battery has lasted nine years. Nine years old now and it's still working fine. So the, the new one, the Toyota Prius Prime, you can plug it in and it has an 8.8 .8 kilowatt hour battery upgraded. So that one can drive about 40 kilometers in the Prius Prime. So we're looking to review that one shortly when we go to South Africa. So this one, we, we, we only review totally plug-in vehicles. This one doesn't have a plug. It charges with the petrol engine as the generator. But what we like about this one is, we can say it set the pace, it set the trend. Where it was the first real driver before mass production cars like the Nissan Leaf that enabled people to actually experience some level of electrification. So the Prius is actually one of the cars we give credit to and uh, yeah, we're pretty excited to review it in this show. So I think in Japan, you can order it online and landed in Africa, you can buy it for about $15,000, this 2010, 2011 model, which is pretty competitive to other cars like the Toyota um, Belta, or they call it the Yaris in South Africa and Zimbabwe the belter so but this one is more economical now because uh, it optimizes your energy consumption by the synergistic drive between the petrol and the battery so you also gain some from the regenerative braking so any little bit that helps us really 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 save on on fuel does its bit and we it, it's good so if you're looking to cut off on on your consumption of, of fossil fuels uh, and you're not really sure about the range of electric vehicles the plug-in versions of this cars like the Prius Prime or the famous one the Mitsubishi uh, what do they call it it's called the uh, Outlander yeah the Mitsubishi Outlander the plug-in hybrid those are good entry cars that you can actually get into at least you can drive about 40 50 kilometers and then when you go on longer trips then you can uh, use your petrol but for everyday city driving the plug-in range is pretty decent yeah so very fascinating car very fascinating drive and uh for a nine-year-old car is very good you stop no shit you just stop so where's park i press park yeah yep. and then i press the handbrake yep. cool